impact of cancer treatment on fertility is not the same for everyone and depends on age, medical background, type of treatment and dose. An estimated 15 to 30% of men with a history of cancer during childhood and adolescence will have a significantly reduced or zero sperm count. This is caused by damage to testicular function during cancer treatment or other treatment. Because of this risk on future sperm production, it is recommended that fertility preservation discussions occur before the start of treatment, so the implications for future fertility can be understood. For those children at a moderate to high risk of infertility, fertility preservation may potentially provide them with the future opportunity for biological parenthood. If they are already producing sperm, from puberty usually around 11 to 12 years old, and able to collect a sample, the sperm can be frozen for future use. For children not yet producing sperm, the only current approach is freezing the sperm producing stem cells from testicular tissue. However, it's important to know that future use of this tissue to restore fertility remains experimental. Recent scientific advancements have been encouraging and a live birth from testicular tissue may be a reality in the future. Removing sperm producing stem cells for freezing requires a testicular biopsy where either part or the whole testicle is removed. The amount removed is dependent on the clinical situation and the child's age. The biopsy is performed under anaesthetic and takes around 20 minutes. It is performed at the same time as other medically necessary procedures to not delay the start of cancer treatment. Like other surgical procedures, risks of the biopsy include infection and bleeding, but the chance of this is very low. During the procedure, a small cut is made in the skin, then closed with dissolving stitches after the biopsy is performed. The recovery time is usually two to three days, after which normal activities can be resumed. Chemotherapy or radiotherapy may be commenced without delay. After surgery, a small piece of the testicular tissue is sent to pathology and examined under a microscope to assess if it's healthy and free of disease. A tiny piece will also be stored for future cancer testing before use. The examination of this small piece of tissue does not guarantee that the entire frozen testicular tissue is free of disease, but it does reduce the risk of this significantly for children with solid tumours. With ongoing advances in fertility treatments, the hope is that in the future, the testicular tissue will be grafted back onto the body to assist the development of mature sperm cells. This has not yet been attempted in humans. However, successful live births have occurred in animal models. For further general information about this topic, see the links in the description box. For information specific to your situation, please contact your trusted GP or healthcare provider, or call Cancer Council on 13 11 20 to speak with a cancer nurse.